everyone, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety, and I am back with a reaction video. We haven't had one of these in quite some time, and Black Ops 6 is on the way. I love zombies. I have loved zombies for over a decade now. Time flies. We're getting old around here. But yeah, I've been seeing that there, uh, we just got the uh, gameplay trailer this past Thursday, and I came across some videos. I see that people are releasing footage of them playing Black Ops 6 zombies early. And as a Black Ops zombies fanatic, I, need it. I want to react to some of these new features and, and the details about the gameplay. And I wanted to see what it looked like. You know, usually I like going in blind, but I'm actually really excited. So we are going to be reacting to a video that code name pizza I love that name. Codename Pizza is a Call of Duty Zombies player. Um, so if you check out their channel, they have a lot of Call of Duty content specifically for zombies. There's some other things mixed in there as well, but shout out to Codename Pizza. Thank you so much for posting this video and giving us an opportunity to see some Black Ops 6 gameplay. Super excited to see this and, and hear your thoughts. So, gonna be reacting starting now. Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. And now I can happily admit that I have played Black Ops 6 Zombies. That's right, I have been to Treyarch, I have played Terminus, I have had a massive brief of Treyarch themselves talking about the entire Black Ops 6 Zombies experience. And now in this video, I can tell oh, wow. you guys absolutely everything. It looks really good. That I know what you need to know like the graphics look nice zombies about terminus including gobblegums main quest easter egg side quest easter eggs every quality of life thing they've applied to this game genuinely this is going to be nuts and I hope this is what i want to hear about a video but let's do this thing the map is definitely giving mob of the dead for sure i never really played mob of the dead that much that's an l for me hopefully hopefully we get that in um you know if they ever do uh zombie chronicles 2 i don't think mob of the dead was in zombie chronicles 1 but i did play it a little bit and this is definitely reminding me of that for sure on the release of black up six zombies one called terminus and one called liberty falls liberty falls is set in west virginia and basically treyarch is setting the story for all of the conflicts in the game on liberty falls it's also a map mm -hmm. that's happening at the exact same time as terminus the gameplay that you are watching right now so it means that the crew that we play as in terminus carver gray weaver and also maya will not be the player Playable characters inside of Liberty Falls. Liberty Falls has a full main quest Easter egg as well, and that's pretty much all we know about this map for now. So Maya looks so badass. So I want to play with her. This is the biggest zombies map that we have ever had inside of zombies in terms of playable space. There's a ridiculous oh, wow. amount of space to play on this map with all types of terrain. As well as this, we also have the most Easter eggs, side quests, and secrets that we've ever seen in any zombies map on Terminus as well. Treyarch said that Black Ops 6 Zombies was fully inspired by Black Ops 3 Zombies and Black Ops Cold War. This mixed is cool. Together. They wanted to keep the unique Ooh. interactions that we had with the main crew on Black Ops 3 Zombies whenever we were doing an Easter egg or whether they were just chatting to each other. They loved that feature, so that's why we have a dedicated crew now on Black Ops 6 Zombies. They I like that. I like that we have a dedicated crew back. I prefer to have characters that are interacting with one another and have relationships with one another. Um, it was cool playing as operators, but I, I like when we play as characters that actually interact and have personalities. And that's not to say that the operators don't have personalities, but I, I just prefer this. Um, I think it's way more immersive. And I'm so glad that we have a set team to play as again. I really miss this. So when I spoke to Treyarch, we know that on launch, we should have around 20 plus gobblegums available. I can currently tell you 10 of them, but there's definitely more that are hidden away that we'll find out at a later date. We have Perkaholic, which of course gives you all perks on map. We have Cashback, which gives you full max ammo. We have Wall Power, which makes the next wall buy that you get pack a punched. We have Stock Option, which allows all ammo to be used from reserves and you don't need to reload. We have Profit Sharing, which means all points that you earn will have a percentage 
distributed to nearby teammates. We have anywhere but here, which will teleport you to a random location. We have armor up, which will apply full armor. We have an instant wonder weapon gobble gum that will instantly give you the wonder weapon from the map. We have temporal gift that will allow all drops oh, on the wow. map to last that, twice zombie. as long, including drops on the ground and also when active in your invent. And we also have respin cycle. Which means <sighs> I can't can wait. I cannot wait. Box. But I'm so Trav excited. Buff this for this game, and it means if you're not happy with the weapon you get from the mystery box, when you activate respin cycle, the next gun that you get will be of a higher rarity. You can now store three gobble gums to use on your person at any one time, and we'll dive into that oh, a little wow. bit deeper That's in a cool. little bit. Before I like this camo, though, by let's the way. Talk That's about sick. the three gobble gum types that are available. We have instant gobble gum, we have timed gobble gum, and we have conditional gobble gums. Once again, remember that these can be stored, but when you choose to eat an instant gobble gum, the effect will instantly activate. When you choose to eat a timed based gobble gum, it will activate for a specific amount of time. And when you choose to eat a conditional gobble gum, something specific needs to happen to either you or the map for that gum to activate, such as hitting the hmm. mystery box and then you choose to activate respin cycle. All gobble gums are earnable inside of the game. There's no more Dr. Monty's factory. There's no more liquid divinium. You're not earning something to then spend somewhere else. You are earning the gobble gum by flipping rounds. Every time you flip okay. around I like that better. You have a chance of being given a gobble gum or multiple gobble gums. Obviously, the higher I like that the rarity, better. such as Perkaholic, the rarer you will get those, but it will be completely random on what you get when you round flip. Let's quickly talk about enemies. Inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies, we have something called evolving enemies. Some enemies are infected with what's known as an organism. And when you kill a zombie that has that specific organism, it may spawn a vermin, which is like a spider, a arachnid kind of thing. Really, really cool. Creepy and it's got like a shit away from me as part of its body. Also, a very cool <laughs> side feature that Treyarch added to this game is for anyone that's got arachnophobia. Don't worry, you can still play Black Ops 6 Zombies. There is a setting to actually turn off the look of the spider. I have no idea what it will look like. Oh, if wow. You can turn, off, like, you can turn it off. That's you cool. If, arachnophobia. if you do not kill the spider in that's time, cool. the spider can then evolve again. Like I said, evolving enemies are a big part of Black Ops 6. The spider can then evolve into a flying bug parasite enemy that we've seen before in, let's say, Black Black Ops 3 Zombies Shadows of Evil. It's also noted mm -hmm. that these parasite exactly enemies can spawn in just randomly anyway. I saw them a lot while I was playing. There are also going to be other enemies that can evolve as well past these two, but I think they're keeping them safe. I love that we're on an so let's island. let's talk about the Wonder Weapon. Ugh. The Wonder Weapon of the map is called the Bean Smasher. The Bean Smasher is obviously from the Mystery Box and it has two functions. It can fire a powerful energy beam that can penetrate through enemies and do a bunch of damage. And its second function is that it emits sonic waves that slow down enemies and make them more vulnerable to damage. So it's a really hmm. good co-op weapon. You can have one person doing the sonic waves with the wonder weapon and another player just destroying them with a normal weapon now that they're weaker. But if you're obviously playing solo, you can then just switch back to the primary function of the bean smasher and destroy and those damage zombies yeah. as well. There is also an extra ability with this bean smasher wonder weapon is when you've used all the ammo from the clip itself, when the weapon goes to reload, it will emit a giant blast of energy. It will stun all the enemies surrounding it and knock them down to the ground. Also, we can't talk about Wonder Weapons without talking about the Ray Gun. The Ray Gun is back, and Treyarch claimed that it's had a little bit of a glow up, a few cosmetic changes, and a few new the cool Ray animations Gun. added. Now, inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies, we have a new support item, which is called Mutant Injection. This thing is bananas. Treyarch thought how sad it was the amount of times that we've died to heavy zombies throughout the years, so they realized that it's now our time to be the heavy zombie. So, we can now inject ourselves with this Mutant Injection, and turn ourselves into a mangler. Obviously, this is very limited oh, wow. in terms of time that you can be a mangler. Oh, that's cool! Oh, we mangler, can be a mangler! Them, shoot them with the mangler arm cannon. Also, a bit of a side note here, we can use the mangler arm cannon inside of game without doing this, just by killing the mangler and he drops his arm, which is very, very Well, cool. hopefully the but zombies don't attack that arm, because you attack that arm so and that motherfucker goes down instantly. Quest. Yeah, dude, just like all of the zombies iterations, pretty much Black Ops 6 Zombies has got main quests coming back, both on Terminus and also Liberty falls. Treyarch said that they've been trying to tackle the problem between the separation between hardcore players and new players for years. So with Black Ops 6 and the main quest with Terminus and also Liberty Falls and with the DLC going forward, they wanted to only do the hand-holding stuff up until Pack-a-Punch. After Pack-a-Punch, every single thing is then hidden, just like the older zombie titles before Cold War. The main quest has to be figured out by the community and once it has been fully figured out and completed, a few weeks after that, we will then have a brand new mode added to Black Ops 6 Zombies, which is called Guided Mode. Guided Mode will allow that new player
Maya to then jump straight into the game and be guided all the way through the Easter egg and the boss fight with it capping out around 15. There will be rewards given to people that's that complete cool. the main That's so quest. sick. One of the things that I was told about was an actual wonder weapon. That's spin. so sick. So I'm glad they're adding that because I never knew how to do game, fucking And Easter all eggs. the rewards that you get are I always had to be taught by other people. <laughs> so if you unlock the Terminus main Easter egg quest, your calling card, the skin for the wonder weapon, they'll all be Terminus themed. There'll also be rewards given for guided mode completion as well. But when I was talking to the devs, oh gosh, I explained that I'm we so as excited. a community, I'm gonna cry. we want to unlock everything I'm inside of cry, the game. Guys. We want to 100% it. But honestly, after a map Ooh. has been out for a few weeks and we've beaten that Easter egg a few times, That's why something. would we want to go through a guided quest just to get the rewards for 100% unlockables? They said I had a really good point, so I would assume that on launch, everything that can be unlocked will be unlocked via the, the main normal quest, and guided yeah. quest will just get a few things that you get from standard. There'll also be a special calling card given to every single player that finishes the main Easter egg quest before the guided quest feature releases, and that applies for every single DLC map as well. <laughs> Once the guided mode is out for that specific map, that calling card is no longer Mele Macchiato. Really I'm excited for this Trio new perk. Said that that idea for this game mode I'm ready to hear more about that. Players to actually get I think I read about it in the blog, the though. For it, and then they'll feel like they're good enough players for the next DLC to just do the normal standard quest like the rest of the community. It's a really, really good idea, and it's very good middle ground in terms of making every single player base feel happy on the game. Another thing to note that on the guided quests, all side Easter eggs and secrets are completely out of the map. You will not be able to activate any of the side quests inside of the map on that guided mode. It is literally just the main quest. Like, they've even locked the trial machines as well. It is only guiding through the main Easter egg quest. Another main quest feature is that we no longer have to leave the game after completing the main quest. Like on Cold War Zombies, when you finished an Easter egg, you had to exfil yeah, out. Exit, you yeah. no longer have to do that. You can <gasps> stick around. You can go hunt for side Easter eggs after the main quest. You can go ahead and do high rounds. Whatever you want to do, you are inside of that I game love after that. the main quest finishes for as long as you wish to be. Another way that they wanted to make this game slightly Because I used to hate that. Like doing the Easter egg and then having a revives after three get kicked out. So on Cold War, we could craft as many self revives as we want. This is both for solo and co op as well. On Black Ops 6 Zombies, there's only three per person per game. Treyarch said that there may be a few secrets hidden away for high round players. They also claim that in terms of high round, it'll be the hardest to reach. Not them making self revives limited. No. Ease in as the higher round. I get that on, though. There'll be more. I think that's a good change. To the player. Interesting. I'm excited to see some. I think that's a good change Trail because I was to say that <laughs> abusing that, that Easter eggs and main quests inside of Black Ops 6 should be able to be completed at both solo and co-op. There are no specific co-op Easter eggs inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies. Everything is able to be done as a team or as a solo player. You can give half of the amount towards the door and another player can pay the other Good, half. because Therefore, people... open mm. the door together. And Thank both you. players will also be awarded with XP for opening the door as well. They've also managed to simplify the salvage. There's no longer multiple types of salvage inside of the Thank game. Thank you. It's literally just one type of salvage inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies. Yeah, because that was confusing. They've also decided to add player-specific salvage as well so people Very can specific. no longer run over your salvage and steal it they said they're also going to add this as well to ammo drops and armor shards that fall off zombies when you kill them making some player specific so you will always have ammo and armor available so people can't people steal stealing. your stuff now let's go Treyarch. played the game but that's what Treyarch told us they also went on to say that pack a punch no longer has a selection screen this is something that i love to see inside of black ops 6 zombies when i got to play it you just go up to the pack a punch machine, you buy it, and you have a pack a punch weapon. You no longer have a menu. Oh, Obviously, that means I like that. ammo mods now need to move. So ammo mods are no longer part of the pack a punch machine. Ammo mods are available at the arsenal where you'll be able to buy ammo Armor. mods and weapon upgrades, and that that's makes where sense. you'll be able to spend your salvage as well. Oh, now, yay! Also These changes thing are great. That I've been begging for for years here, which is just adding more personality to things inside of the game that had none inside of Cold War. So they decided with the arsenal to add a personality to it. So a Apparently, this arsenal will talk to you like a drill instructor, saying stuff like, Hey, get over here. Your weapon is lacking in rarity. Oh, great. I don't know what it says. <laughs> 
tell you. Along those lines. Put me in my place. Also, armor upgrades are not part of the arsenal. <laughs> armor upgrades are now part of the wall buy system. You buy armor off the walls. There's three different types of armor rarity located on the walls around the map. That's Once you neat. bought it, okay. you bought it. And you buy this with points or essence inside of the game and not with salvage. Very cool, right? Another one that I wanted to talk about real quick is your field upgrade. We can change our field upgrade inside of the game. We could technically do this on Cold War, but it was kind of a bug, I think. But they've made it 100% real mid-game. Change of your field upgrade inside of Black Ops 6 Zombie. Oh, Let's talk about okay. this massive quality of life feature inside of Black Ops 6 Zombie. Let's hear it. Save and quit. That is right. Okay, we so are going to be legit. able to save our games inside of Black Ops 6 Zombies. Treyarch say that they know that high rounds can last an insane amount of time, so you can still solo I don't know how often I wish would... just to go to the bathroom or eat your dinner or whatever you want to do, but if you want to go to school or you have to go to work or you want to have a few days off zombies, feel free. As long as you are 100% health inside of the game and not surrounded by zombies, you can save the game and load it back up when I don't know how often I'll use that because I'm not it will really a high round progress. It will save person. Your pack punch rarity. I thought I'm going like 55 armor, and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. Rarity. Okay, let's talk about cross progression real quick. Cross progression will go across the entire game. So zombies and multiplayer. We know that we've got classic prestige inside of the game, which means we've got 10 prestiges. And then when you get to prestige 10, you've got 1,000 levels of prestige master to do. You can I can't wait. This I'm so in glad classic prestige is back. This also includes weapons. Weapon progression. Weapon progression where you unlock attachments and camos. They will be through zombies and multiplayer as well. Even though you will have camos that are unique just to zombies and unique just to multiplayer. Okay, you also I like have that. You also customization inside of this game as well. And believe it or not, on launch, there's going to be over 100 different playable arguments to the game. Just think about this. 100 different things that can feature on your setup alongside 20 plus gobblegums that could all activate at the same time. Genuinely, this is the most customizable zombies ever. You'll be able to do some crazy things inside of this map, and I cannot wait for Mythbusting Mondays. Let's talk about hood presets, baby. So the hood is always something that's really controversial in every zombies game. I think the first time anyone really complained about a hood was probably inside of Black Ops 4, and then we got it in Cold War again. But Treyarch have been the goats once more. So you can actually change your hood depending on your style of play and where you want things to be placed on the screen. That includes your ammo, it includes your perks. So for example, if you like like Cold War and you want your perks to be in the center of the screen, you can have your hood to look like that. You just have to select the Cold War hood. If you prefer your perks being over the left-hand side of the screen, similar to Black Ops 3 zombies, then you can just pick the Black Ops 3 hood. Or if you don't want any hood at all, you can turn the hood off. A lot of things are toggable on and toggable off inside of the hood as well. So if you don't want to have hit markers or you do want hit markers, you can apply those. Health bars, you can either take them off or add them on. Minimap, add them on, take them off. Whatever you want to be able to see on the screen, you Ooh. can see on the screen and basically there's a ridiculous amount of settings to see where you want stuff. There's even a streamer mode that gives way more space for your face cam. Treyarch have really Ooh. nailed it with this in my opinion. Okay, yeah, streamer thing mode. That you can actually do is toggle off the Pack-a-Punch machine camo. Now, yes, we could do this by meleeing the Pack-a-Punch machine. I'm so glad they added that. You don't do that every single time. You can just turn it off. So if you've got the mastery camo and you want that for the entire game, you go on Pack-a-Punch, it'll just keep your mastery camo. Because that was Simple confusing that. when you have a mastery camo, camo, mastery camo and then so Pack-a-Punch will go over camo. it or vice versa inside of the game and zombies does have a mastery camo and so does multiplayer. I hope it's I nice. I spoke to multiple Treyarch employees that said they've worked on every single mastery camo since the early days of mastery camos and they are all confident that Black Ops 6's mastery camos across the whole game are the best we have ever seen. Let's they better, they better not feature. be lying. You can I... join a friend's game at any single time in Black Ops 6 zombies even if you were never in that game. If you need to leave a friend's game, don't worry. Leave it, jump back in whenever you want. If you've never been in that game and your buddy's just playing some zombies, he's been playing for a few hours, he's now on round 30, feel free to jump in and give him a hand. You can join that round you 30 You can join after level round 10? Man, you can have people getting all the way to the boss fight and then getting someone in just to get them the rewards of the Easter egg. Kind of like the feature. I feel That's like fire. It's really great. The amount of times back in the day that I'd have three friends oh in the middle gosh. of an Easter egg quest and I just had to sit there in an Xbox Live party and just talk to them because I couldn't join. But now, that won't happen. I can jump 
jumped straight into the game and helped this is great out. obviously this week we've seen the this brand new so melee macchiato let's talk about that very very quickly the melee you guys my viewers you guys really can join me at any time attack. if you use your dedicated melee attack which is new to zombies but obviously we've seen this before in previous call of duty titles it will be even crazier as well obviously in previous titles you would switch to a more dedicated melee weapon but inside of black ops 6 zombies they thought that would be really weird to do so just the melee attack is just mental instead in terms of the maps themselves treyarch took a lot of feedback from cold war and wanted to go inside of black ops 6 zombies with the idea of creating all unique and cool looking maps so like in cold war we did see a lot of multiplayer elements added to these maps we are not going to get that every single zombies map is unique and a fun new experience the maps are also designed to take full advantage of the omni movement function inside of black ops 6 you know i barely used omni movement when i was playing and i played absolutely fine so it's not like you have to use it it's just a map that if you use the omni movement i guess it plays cool i guess i don't know the so map looks really nice by the way the very first I like this. time in round based zombies that we actually have an operational vehicle inside of the map in the form of a tactical mm -hmm. raft these can spawn yep. on command via two places on I the map and you can choose to swim from island to island or shipwreck to island whatever you want but there is a lot of danger inside of that water so using the tactical raft is a lot better and let me tell you that there's a kraken you've probably seen the gameplay already on mm -hmm. screen inside of the water and he makes it very very difficult to be inside of there so you don't want to be in the water for too long treyarch also wanted to make sure that the map feels alive so there's lots of different random events that can happen inside of the zombies game this is called living world events basically you could open a door walk forward and you'll see two zombies eating a warden or you might open a door and you'll see a zombie having a fight with a warden or having a boxing match this is completely random there's so many of these that are available so there'll be a lot that you can discuss with your friends that your friends might have seen a specific thing that you've not seen or vice versa absolutely completely That's random cool. and you That's never new. know when they're gonna activate when you're gonna see them when you're not gonna see them you can choose to intervene you don't have to intervene it's just a cool thing that's inside of zombies now we'll finish on power so power for the map is it a traditional power system no it's not there are three generators inside of the map that you have to power up to get power access to the map before you make your way into the main room of the map that is an incredible amount of information to take in and if you are still here i massively massively appreciate you it has been an absolute honor to be sent out to treyarch to cover this for you and to have the privilege of playing black ops 6 zombies let me tell you this Bravo. there's been a lot of years with zombies where i have felt unsure about how things are going to go but i am pretty certain the black ops 6 zombies is going to be absolutely huge make sure you guys check out his channel i am putting um the link to the video in my description so um you guys can support him as well but that was insane um this sounds like it's definitely going to be the best zombies yet in terms of customization quality of life updates i heard i don't even know where to where to start i heard so many different things that i'm really excited about i like that there's not a menu that pops up when you're pack a punch in your weapon because that used to get in the way and sometimes you get your ass beat or and you felt like you just had to like rush and look at this menu and choose stuff really fast i'm excited for the gobble gums i didn't know really how i felt about gobble gums like in the previous games i felt like they were just like extra kind of and i don't know i like how they have it set up in this game it seems a lot more streamlined in this game like in black ops 3 i didn't really care for the gobble like the gobble gum setup but i like how they how it's mainly like it seems like it's a lot more straightforward in the menu when you're setting it up and most of it happens within the game rather than you having to set up all of this stuff before you go into the game i like how it's tied to the game i like that they have the guided mode where it guides you through the easter egg i think that's amazing and i think that's something that should have been included a long time ago the wonder weapon looks amazing oh my gosh i think this is probably my favorite thing the fact that people can join your game after round 10 that's amazing because especially as a streamer I be I play with you guys a lot as you guys know and um sometimes I might be playing with people and then they have to leave but then other people come in but by then I'm already at like round 30 or something and people want to jump in and they can't jump in because we're past that cutoff so the fact that people can join now and they can join at any time I think that's fucking awesome 
I'm so excited for this, guys. Like, I cannot wait. Believe me, I'm going to be playing zombies so much. I want to unlock everything. I'm, I just want to completely immerse myself when this comes out. So I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment below what you thought about these new features. Like, what are you most excited about? I really want to hear from you guys in the comments. Be sure to check out Codename Pizza. Um, once again, his video, um, the link to his video is in the description. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you guys um, are excited for zombies. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.